be making basics. What's going on? Thank you so much for grabbing the uh, Trap Piano Loops pack. And I just wanted to just take some time to show you quickly how you can use it in your DAW of choice. Now, this is Logic Pro 10. This is how you're going to be able to use it in Logic Pro 10. But you can drag and drop these samples into any DAW, uh, specifically because we're giving you the audio files. So it's going to be WAV files and it's also going to be MIDI files. So check this out. Let's go check out this pack. This is what you're going to see once you open up your pack. It has three folders. One is going to be the WAV files, which we have 20 different loops here. Okay. And they're all original. So you don't have to worry about any copyright issues. We also have the MIDI files right here as well. So this, let's just talk about how you could just easily start working with this. Um, at least in Logic Pro 10, if I created a new software instrument track and then create this uh, quick sampler track here, go to stereo, um, I could pretty much double click on this and now I could drag and drop these samples right into this area right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's just check, let's just do number one, pull this into original, and then this is going to be the sample. Now I'm going to push command K um, on my keyboard to pull up musical typing. Just so you can also see like the notes that I'm playing. Now, first things first, as you can see here, the BPM is 120. If you want to match up this BPM of this sample to this, then all you have to do is just click on this guy right here. This is the follow tempo option. And then now this should be matched up to 120. To make sure we turn on that beat, uh, metronome and push play and pretty much just go ahead and, and lock in your sample here. Let's go. So that's the sample. Um, if I wanted to actually go ahead and lay this down, obviously I can. Pretty cool stuff here. I can quantize it. You know, it's pretty much worse just like any other regular sample here. Um, actually, actually, after it's in here, I can take it and I'm gonna move this up or down now. In Logic Pro 10, if you want that sampler to play a little slower, you could just go ahead over here to the speed. Do one over two or you know half speed. So you get the point here. Again, I could come over here and drag and drop any of these samples in here um, doing it like that. Now, second here, if I wanted to, um, let's just actually change this from quick sampler to just a regular, um, let's just do a regular track here, default patch. Let's say if I wanted to actually take that piano and let's just do this, you know, this piano right here. Let's say we want to work with the MIDI file. That's simple. All we got to do is come over here. I don't know why that's right. That, and then go to over here to the Trap Piano MIDI, and then I can just drag and drop this right into the session. I can put this right on top of that. You can import the tempo if you want, okay? Or you can just say no, and it's gonna match it to the tempo of the track here. cool thing about actually having a MIDI file is now I can come over here and change the actual sound here. So I can come over here, pick any of these piano sounds and, you know, I have that same melody that that's created here playing it different um, with different sounds. So I just I gave these these two different options to use these samples to you for re, a lot of different reasons, just to give you some flexibility. So you have the wave; you can still come in here and chop it up, do whatever you want with it, um, and then you also have like the MIDI files. Appreciate y'all grabbing the, the pack again. If y'all need anything, let me know. 
Um, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you get subscribed to my YouTube channel, Be Making Basics. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much.